Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Aquarius. Please keep in mind, as it's a general read, it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements. Now let's see. What are the energies for Aquarius, please? What are the energies for the sign of Aquarius, please? With regards to their person or situation. What are the energies for Aquarius with regards to their person or situation? The Devil, Knight of Pentacles, could be dealing with Capricorn, or maybe you have a heavy Capricorn placement in your chart. Let's get you one more card. One more card, please, for Aquarius. Knight of Cups. Right. With the Judgment here at the bottom of the deck, Followed by Five of Swords, Nine of Swords. It feels to me like Aquarius. You would like to extend yourself towards someone. With this Knight of Cups here. With the Knight of Pentacles you are going to do it very slowly. I would stay slowly and steadily because actually the Knight of Pentacles is my favorite knight. But with the devil attached to here, to the to this energy, it feels to me like you are slowing down kind of on purpose and kind of not having the best, let's say, motivation to do so, right? Um, because the devil here is telling me that uh, you Aquarius are trying to slow yourself down uh, not because you exactly feel that it's, uh, let's say, the best way to go about it, that it's the best way to be steady, you know, the best way to build uh, something uh, within this relationship, but because of some other reasons. Because of some other reasons. Because of, could be the fear, could be the... Um, you know, I'm getting also here that uh, for some of you, this could be that you are so... Um, Look what I'm getting here, Aquarius. For some of you, this could be that you are so attached to the idea of a romance that you are even scared to, to move forward within the relationship because it feels to you like it will probably become boring, you know, like it will lose this romantic vibe, uh, like it will become mundane, everyday life. Uh, but with the devil attached to, the, to all of that, it feels to me like it's something that you should take a very good look at. Because maybe this is exactly something that is preventing you to having a good, well-developed relationship sometimes, right? But let's see, and with the judgment here at the bottom of the deck, actually, <clears throat> I do feel that this situation is, uh, this relationship is given you by the Divine to exactly work on this, uh, on this aspect, right? Uh, on this... Um, Kind of romantic procrastination, I would say, if if that's even a thing. Like you are trying to uh, to make this romantic phase, right, as as long as possible because you probably you're being afraid of uh, something here. Of you know that you, maybe you're afraid that the relationship will fade, but it won't. It won't if you're both growing and you're both open to each other and to this relationship. No, it won't. It won't fade. It will only become stronger. It will only become brighter. But it feels to me like, you know, like this kind of addiction to this uh, to this romantic stage, to this, you know, uh, bubbly stage at first. And then, therefore, you can't move forward. Or your forward moving is, ah, you see, judgment on their side. 
Three of Swords. Ooh. Right. Let's get one more card first before I say something. One more card. One more card, please. Oh, the Hierophant could be dealing with Scorpio or with Taurus here. The Page of Swords, the Tower at the bottom of the deck, King of Wands, King of Swords, Seven of Cups. Right. What I see here, Aquarius, that this person you're dealing with, they actually... Um, First of all, I want to tell you that this person is very serious about you. I think that they are very serious about life in general. They are taking life very seriously. And the relationship with you, they are taking very, very seriously. And I see that this procrastination of yours is uh, actually a heartbreaking point for them. Right? It's not something that they like. And with the judgment here, I see that this person is actually uh, right now in the stage of making uh, some kind of a final decision. Like, are they going to move forward with you? Or they are going to uh, to break their own heart, probably yours as well, but uh, break out of this connection. Because you see with the Page of Swords here at the bottom of the deck and the Tower, I see this person is seriously thinking to, uh, you know, to jump from that tower. Because uh, probably they don't see much uh, development within this relationship. Also, I see that... Uh, gosh, Aquarius, you're not going to like it. Uh, with the King of Wands and King of Swords, followed by the Seven of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, I see this person has options, right? Uh, not in the way like, you know, not in the way like you are one of the options, not in that way. They're not looking at you as just an option. No, they're very serious about you. But I see that, I see other people around this person and I see them like, you know, um, I don't think this person is very, very, very flirtatious with the, with the high priest here. No, they're not. Uh, I see them looking for, a, for something stable, for something long term, uh, probably with you, right? But I also see that they are surrounded by other people and that other people are very interested also. At least there are, I see two people around your person. Uh, one is very, very intellectual, uh, sharp tongue, smart. Uh, one is very feisty, you know, like an adven adventurer, traveler, something of that sort. Very bubbly person, very charming. Uh, two people. That's what I see. But I don't see them wanting to leave you, but I see them thinking about this heavily because not like to leave you, but to leave the situation because it's it feels stagnant for them. It feels stagnant for them. So, but it's not what they want. With the high priest here, uh, the romance is very nice. Right, but they want to build something solid uh, for themselves with you, probably. Let's see the connected energies. Very interesting reading. Six of Wands, Four of Swords, let's get one more card. One more card, please. Six of Swords, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, the Sun at the bottom of the deck. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, Aquarius, it's something very serious is going on here. It's very serious. It's a little bit similar vibe to Libra's reading I just did. Uh, but look what's happening here. What is needed here, uh, what, this, what this connection needs now. It needs uh, to move itself to a more peaceful place, right? It needs to heal. It looks to me like, uh, look, actually for both of you, for both of you because with the Three of Swords on their side, they are being like too triggered probably by your behavior and with your uh, interesting uh, 
willing to pull the romance for as long as possible, this also has to be healed because it, it seems to me like there is a little bit of this, you know, um, I'm not saying like you are afraid of commitment, it's not what I see here, no. But you are probably just afraid, you know, to have a boring life, which is sometimes we have to have it boring and then the other days will be bright and exciting, you know, and this is how it goes. Uh, so I see that there are things to be healed here, definitely, uh, on both parts. But the thing is that it's worth it. Uh, look at this, Aquarius, it's worth it. With the Two of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, this connection has a very bright future. And with the Moon and the Sun, I would say, I, I said this to Libra, maybe uh, you are dealing with Libra, or maybe you have heavy Libra in your chart, maybe you should check that video, because maybe there is a message for you. But I've seen there it, uh, like a very, very heavy twin flame vibe, and I see it here as well with the sun and the moon here. Look at this. Look at this, what we have with the sun and the moon. Two of cups, ten of pentacles. What do you see here? I see a very bright future, I see a huge potential, and I see a divine connection definitely. So this is something for both of you to work on. Like it's, you know, it's not something you can just lose, first of all. If uh, all this major arcana is here, it means that the universe itself is uh, in the driving seat, you know. So, it's a lot of lessons for both of you to learn, and, but it's, it's a wonderful connection to actually uh, to have. It's a wonderful connection you have between each other. Right? Let's get your message from the source. Message from the source, please, for Aquarius, or a cross watcher, I feel like. Ace of Cups, the Fool, come on. Almost the same message, almost the same what I just said. Look at this energy here. Let's get one more card. Queen of Wands. You know what? <laughs> you know what, Aquarius? I think that the, the source is telling you, well, this is a message for you, Aquarius. Uh, with the fool here, could be dealing with Aries, but this is what they're talking about. Look, this person is not going to make you bored. This person is a queen of wands. Regardless of their gender, it's not a gender-specific read, uh, but they carry an energy of queen of wands. They are very feisty, they are very adventurous, they are very, uh, they are go-getter, you know, it's, it's, this person is very strong and at the same time very, um, very lively, you know, very bright, very fiery, and actually your, your fears to be bored within the relationship are completely, um, you have no reason to be fearing that. You have no, re no reason to be fearing that. What you have here in, in, within this relationship is a lot of love and a lot of new roads, new experiences, new adventures that you can have with this person. Right? And I can tell you that much. This person is your divine counterpart. You are, you are too divinely guided towards each other. And I love this, actually, this uh, last message from the, from the Spirit. They are telling you already, you know, with the... They're telling you very openly, uh, come on, Aquarius, they're not boring. Yes, they're serious about you, but they're not boring at all, right? Okay, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this helped, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Aquarius.